Hello everyone. I am so excited because I have a special guest today and this happens to be my most favorite young person in the whole world, my nephew Niles. Say hello Niles. Hey. Now since fall is coming up, Niles has agreed to help me with a project. We are going to make some pumpkins made out of string. We're going to use string and glue and balloons and tape. I've never done this before, so it's an experiment and hopefully now it will help me get it right. <laughs> this is something that I made. This is a vase I actually have on my kitchen table. I took the flowers out, but we're going to make a pumpkin that looks like this. And it's, um, it's going to be really hard like that. Feel that? Yeah, it's real hard. <laughs> and um, it's, it looks like webs. It looks like it's made up of webs. So I think this will be perfect for Halloween. It'll be really rustic. Um, but we're going to, the trick is to get this to be shaped like a pumpkin. And I have an idea. Hopefully it'll work out. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is blow up some balloons. For this project, we'll be using medium-sized latex balloons, masking tape, equal parts school or craft glue and water, thin craft jute, rope or twine, latex gloves, and a large bowl for mixing. I'm going to blow up two or three of them. I want you to blow up one about the size that you want your pumpkin. It doesn't have to be really big, but um, I'm going to do like maybe two or three different sizes. I think this will be my biggest one. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to do one more. Next, we want to make these pumpkins, um, or these balloons. We want to turn these balloons into pumpkins. So, the way I thought about doing that is to, you know how pumpkins have the, the indentations? Um, I'm going to use tape. And this is a tricky part. So we'll see if you could do it. I might have to do yours. But I'm going to take a piece of tape, put it right at the end here, and then pull it out. And then I want to kind of stretch it over the balloon to the bottom to make sort of an indentation. I'm going to keep going to get here. To help make this indentation, I'm using my fingers along that line to push the balloon inward. Careful not to pop it. Yeah, no, that's why I it's going to be tricky. But see how I made this little indentation? Yeah. So I'm going to do that. And for the stem, I'm just going to pull a piece out and just kind of roll this around to kind of make the stem. And this balloon is just to give us the shape. Okay, now I'm going to go around this way. <laughs> See. And still being really careful. Put it as much as I can to make it to the bottom. my finger right there, pull it out, stretch, oops, stretch, 
scratch it, but gently. And then I'm going to do it, I think, one more time. Okay. I'm trying to get this right in the center here. So, the trick is you don't want to put it on a balloon until you stretch it out as much as you could. Try to put this right in the middle. Sorry. <laughs> it's starting to look like the shape of a pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. I think this is working. Do too tight because the tail is really full and it might pop if I go too tight. So I think that's the last one I'm gonna do. Okay. Just gonna roll this around. And there's my pump pumpkin shape. So, let's do yours now. You want to try yeah. the first one? You remember what we did? Yeah. Stick it down right here. Okay. Hold your finger there and then pull the tape out. And just sort of use your finger to push it in and, and pull it over to the other edge. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to um, go around the top to make like a stem. Start to form a stem. Cut a pe tear a piece up at the top here. Start rolling the stem around here to kind of make the stem. Okay, that looks pretty good. You got an indentation here. So let's try going around this way. Let you do the rest of the balloon while I start on my other balloons. Okay. So I have my three different sizes. 
And now she did a great job. Look at that. Looks just like the shape of the pumpkin. Actually, this is perfect. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this with string. I want you to put some gloves on first. And what we're going to do is mix up a solution of glue. I got this big bottle of Elmer's school glue and water. And that's what's going to make our string hard. So it's going to be pretty much half and half. Pour in some glue. something to mix that up. What we're going to do with the glue and water is soak our string. You could just actually drop the whole thing in here. <laughs> we're going to drop the whole thing in here. So we want the string to be covered with, you know, soaking with the, um, yeah, and you could take one in. And I'll take the other end. And let's just let it soak in there for a little bit. Yeah, you got the other end. Okay, just leave, let it hang out for on the side. So that's your end. This is my end. I covered the table with this plastic so it won't get too messy. I'm going to get some paper towels. And just to make sure that the string wouldn't stick to the masking tape, I've decided to put a little Vaseline on the areas where the masking tape is, only on the body part of the pumpkin. It looks like, it looks like it's starting to move in. But I think I'm going to start up by the stem. And... Roll around the stem and then I'm going to come and just, I'm just pretty much going to roll the, um, the twine around the balloon. Go around the stem, you could go down the spines. Just come up and around and it doesn't have to be any kind of order. You're just gonna go just pretty much wrap this around the balloon. Yeah, it'll take a little while, but we're gonna just roll it around. You could start with the other end. You go around the sides, you want to make sure it goes into, you know, it shapes into the indentations too. So we want to make sure the shape is going to be a great pumpkin shape. So when you first start, you can stay around the bottom of the, um, the stem and then we'll build the stem, the stem up at the end.
So now, tell us what grade are you in? Third. Third? Yeah. And you're how old? Eight. Eight I turned nine in November. So, Niles is a very smart young man and he does a lot of activities like um, karate, karate. Um, baseball, and my school has flexibles and I'm trying to do that. Wow. And now it happens to be a black belt, right? In karate? Yep, I'm a black belt. Wow, that's awesome. And I have to teach. Oh, and he teaches. He teaches younger kids. On Wednesday. Teach. How is that being a teacher? Teaching is cool. So we decided it was a good idea to put on aprons because it was getting pretty messy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go around vertically. Okay, so we've been going around vertically. So um, we have like vertical, pretty much vertical lines going around the pumpkin um, so at this point we're gonna start doing like you know crisscrossing around doing some horizontal lines around okay just sort of crisscrossing around but you still want to keep that shape okay so uh, pretty much covered the pumpkin uh, vertical and I did some diagonal pieces. If there's some spaces, you can just kind of use your hands and, and um, separate it a little bit and make sure this is like, see, that's wherever there's clumps. Now, what I want to do next is I want to make sure I keep that shape. So I'm going to start going around and pulling the string where um, I had the tape, where those indentations are. So you see where I know I had a piece of tape here going around. I'm going to take the, the rope and just like I did with the tape, I'm going to sort of pull it tight around that area. And then wrap it around the stem and then go to the next um, indentation which is right here and just sort of pull it tight because I do want to keep that shape. See how I'm pulling it and I'm sort of getting that shape back. And I'm just going to go around my stem to shape that. So I think this one is done. I'm just going to go around my set and just sort of separate some of the pieces to kind of cover it up a little bit. More. And we'll have to let it sit and dry overnight. Looks pretty good, Nels. Thanks. Looks great. Just go back and just like I said, you know, wherever yeah. there's some holes, big holes, you could just scoot the string over a little bit. Yeah, okay. okay, and then do do it gently so it doesn't, you know, come apart. Okay. Now I have two more pumpkins to go. <laughs> but you could take a break. So we're going to sit this out and let it dry. I'm going to put a fan on it. So, so it dries faster. Right. So it dries faster. 
Maybe we could even finish it tonight. I'll set this one aside. And so go to my next squish. So I finished wrapping my last two smaller size pumpkins and I set them all under the fan to dry overnight. Okay, now that these are all dry, this is now as hard as a rock. So what I'm gonna do next is try to remove the balloon. First I'm gonna cut the bottom out, then we could put like a light in it or and it could sit a little more flat right now it's rolling around a little bit so we'll start right here at the bottom find one of these holes I think it starts to separate itself already when I pop the, the um, balloon I'm going to cut, cut around the bottom. And it's brittle, you can cut it really well. This one is very dense, so it's still a little bit wet. You could use a utility knife too. Right now, I'm just going to stick my finger inside and kind of separate the balloon from the string. So the balloon is separating itself. And after cutting the bottom out, I'm going to use my knife to cut the um, the balloon from the stem. So I'm just going to have to stick my knife into one of the holes and just saw. I'm going to do this very gently away from your hand like this. So of course um, you want to do this if you're a parent working with your kid. You want to do this part yourself. But now it's hard and it's hollow and it sits down more flat. And since I do have a hole in the bottom of it we could set something in it like a little tea candle this is a battery operated tea candle i got from dollar tree and it flickers you could sit it in and at night you can make it glow so let's go get nails and show them our finished pumpkins okay now so you go your pumpkin is done and it looks perfect i think you did a great job with this so what do you think Looks good. It's hard. Yeah, it came out great. So um, we have the hole in it. So with this, you can put like a little light in it, either a tap light or I have these battery operated lights that flicker. And when all the lights are out, it's going to look really cool. Like that. And you can sit it in your window. Not outside because if you wet the um, pumpkin, the the glue is not going to stay hard. Um, so you could sit it in the window or you could sit it in your room and you can paint it. Would you like to paint it? I'm, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have time to paint it because your father is on his way. Now he's just from New Orleans and he's going back today, this morning. So we have to get ready and um, you're going to have to take this with you. But okay. What would you like to paint this? What color if you wanted to paint it? Black. Black, okay. So I'm going to paint mine um, like a bronze color or, or gold color. Um, but I have some metallic black. I think it will look really cool. I'm going to let you take this with you. Okay. And a paintbrush. So you could just squirt this out on the paper plate and when you paint it I want you to dab so that it gets into the center, you know, around all the cracks. And it's going to shimmer, it's going to be like a black shimmering one. This is really transparent so it's going to be kind of brown black. So what I want you to do is take a picture of it when you finish so that I can show everyone 
how it turned out. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna let you take all of the switch here and complete your project. And the light, you take the little light with you. And it was so fun having you here. I really enjoyed everything. We, we ate a lot <laughs> and we made ice cream and we had a lot of fun. So come back again. I okay. love you. Love you too. Such a great boy. So say goodbye to everyone. Bye. <laughs> Girl, I think you dance here now. <laughs> So I decided to spray paint my pumpkins a uh, metallic gold. So I took these outside and I'm starting with the inside of the pumpkin. And I'm using a Krylon Brilliant Metallic Gold. I'm spraying the inside first and then I'm spraying the outside. And for these, you're gonna have to spray a couple of coats because the rope will really soak up the color. So you want to spray it, let it dry, and then spray it again to really get more of a metallic finish. And make sure you're spraying these outside with a mask on. The films are really strong. Also, you want to let it dry overnight completely, maybe for an extra day because the films will be really strong and you don't want to bring them into the house. After it dried, I decided I wanted to add it a little more of metallic gold so I'm using my my paint which is a brighter gold than the spray paint um, just around the bulgy areas to add a little more dimension and to highlight those areas and after it's all dried here are my golden string pumpkins and they turned out great. I think these look like really great sculptural pumpkins. They're nice and hard. They have a natural pumpkin shape. And when I place it over some battery operated tea lights, look at the cool spooky shadows it makes in the dark. And speaking of spooky, now just sent me some photos of his pumpkin that he painted black and it turned out really great. So I definitely will be using these on my fall table for Halloween and Thanksgiving. Want more detailed instructions on some of these projects? On my Etsy store, for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. Put all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. You can now get separate e-project booklets and also full color printed project booklets will be available on Amazon. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show and you can add them all to your cart for the one click fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.